Pants cost a QP, shirt cost a Z. I got the SRT off of Apple Flips. She like, what is this? Baby, it's a tip. Diamonds in my mouth. It's gonna make her. What's good, man? Big story mode, man. I'm checking back in, man. I got some. You know, some food for thought right now for y'all heads right now. Something y'all can eat on and really kind of think about and ponder on later on. You feel me? In y'all daily lives, man. When y'all get money like me, man. When you get money like me, you kind of got to go through a lot of shit when you becoming a boss. When you becoming like, you know, at another level in life. When you becoming doing something else in another level of life, you start to run into a lot of problems. Sometimes, not a lot of problems, but you start to run into a lot of problems with human beings, man. Just with human beings, man. You uh, uh, for mostly human beings. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta watch certain shit these days, man. Everybody got their hand out, and you gotta watch what you present on social media. You gotta watch all that shit, man. You know you gotta and you you can say no when motherfuckers asking asking you for this, asking you for that, expecting it to be free and all that shit. And then you got the power to say no, and saying no make you stronger throughout throughout life when you gain it when you gain it in life it make you stronger saying no because every boss is not nice they didn't make it to the top just being hey you can have this you can have this you can have this that's the fastest way to go broke and not that and not have nothing you know but for the most part man i want to get into you know you know when you get money man you know your homies want to eat with you niggas niggas that you grew up with want to want to eat with you type shit they want to know what you're doing they want to know how you're doing it you know what do they need to do take the steps out to do it you know i didn't took all the sacrifices i ain't did you know certain amounts i ain't took all the l's to figure out you know what the fuck going on what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong so for the most part i'm like you know i have my if i'm your homie you're gonna eat with me if you're around me act like you want to eat act like you want to learn some shit act like you want to change your life even if it's even if you change it for even if you're changing it just a little bit at a time a little bit at a time this shit take time bro and it take knowledge too school ain't over when you get out of school not over when you get out school not over when you get out of school man you still gotta learn how to get this motherfucking money bro nah for real you still gotta learn how to get these motherfucking dividends bro you still gotta learn how to stack this shit up bro and make it make sense you still gotta learn discipline and save your money though Nah, for real. You can't, you niggas gotta understand, you know? Like I said, I'll eat with my homies. I have no problem eating with my homies. If you act, but if you, you gotta act like you want it though. I have no problem eating with my homies. I have no problem sharing my knowledge at all. Looking at, looking at my homies and seeing them win, buy cars, take care of their kids, all types of shit. You feel me? I have no problem with that. But the thing is, certain people don't go through enough stages in life to appreciate certain things. So certain shit leave quicker or they don't appreciate what com what's coming in. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to say no to certain people these days, man. Like I get money with my homies, but at the same time, I can't teach you how to save. Like say, say if we get money, woo -woo -woo, you know, you ain't make your money. We ain't got the same amount almost type shit. But you spending your money differently than I'm spending my money. I can't be responsible for healing, for helping you save your money. Then niggas start looking at me weird because they ain't spent their shit and all. You feel what I'm saying? And now they looking for other, other, other shit to get into type shit. You feel me? Like, like I said, school ain't over, bro. Just because you make a little money here and there, don't mean that you. That shit's gotta keep accumulating, accumulating. You gotta see your overhead and bring in more than what your overhead is, bro. Every single, every single month, week, day, whatever you, however you calculating it by. School not over, bro. You got to watch motherfuckers too because certain motherfuckers ain't found the plan yet. They haven't found the plan yet. They got here some little money here who that. But, you know, certain motherfuckers need to pay attention to what they doing. Maybe they can make something more out themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe they can do something with their business. Like I said, I'll share, I, I'll share my knowledge. I'll eat with my homies and shit like that. But I can't show you how to save. If I can't show you how to save... And if you if niggas start, you know, feeling ways because, you know, I'm I'm not reaching my hand out, you know, baby and niggas try to hey, get. It. But listen, it's only a certain amount of times where I tell you, hey, bro, come on, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Do this. Do this. I'll tell you once or twice. But after that, bro, do your own thing, bro. After a minute, it's going to be I'm charging fees because 
now you are literally wasting my time, G. Like, I, after more than one or two times, you're wasting my time, G. Don't, it's not personal, so don't even put your feelings in it. It's not personal, it's just business. I mean, you want to see, I want to see you win just like you want to see me win, hopefully. So why would you waste, you know, bro time? If y'all got a homeboy that's doing some shit, you feel me, getting a little money here. Some of y'all be prideful, too prideful, don't want to do business with motherfuckers because it's me. Because it's because they don't want to do business because it's you. You might be do you might be doing your thing out there and you feel me? Motherfuckers don't want to do business with you just because it's you. You feel what I'm saying? Even though you ain't did nothing to nobody, they just looking at you like, man, you feel me? In, in insecure competition with you, bro, because they ain't grew up with you and all shit like that. Listen, it's tunnel vision. When you getting money, you a boss, you got all that shit gotta be tunnel vision to you. Nah, for real. You gotta stay focused on the bag. Make sure you're running up your account. Make sure you're running up. You getting your shit, nigga. Make sure you're getting your investments in, man. So look, bro, I'm that's all I'ma say for right now. For the podcast right now, you know. But like I said, man, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, man. I'ma start posting way more, man. I ain't gonna be posting on my Instagram like that. Most of my shit's gonna be on motherfucking um YouTube, man. So we're gonna do it like that, man. Big story mode, man. More entertainment coming soon, man. Watch my YouTube and just, you know, enjoy it, man. What I post, what I post, nigga. Tell me what y'all thoughts. Hit the comments too. Let's get it.